Welcome back to Harville. Several of Donald Trump's cabinet nominees, as I said, took the stand for confirmations hearings this week. And one thing is clear, I guess, they are not on the same page as the guy who picked them, the president-elect, when it comes to his views or his campaign promises that made him popular with his loyal base of supporters, doesn't quite square with what these nominees are saying. Let's watch. The TPP is a horrible deal. It is a deal that is going to lead to nothing but trouble. So I say it's a very bad deal, should not be approved. And do you share his, his opposition to the TPP? Uh, I do not oppose TPP. I Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. I have no belief and do not support the idea that Muslims as a religious group should be uh, denied admission to the United States. When Mexico sends its people, they're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. I would never characterize an entire population of people with any single term at all. We are going to build a wall. If they ever get up, they're saying, oh, man, how do I get down for this wall? A physical barrier in and of itself will not do the job. WikiLeaks. I love WikiLeaks. I have never believed that WikiLeaks was a credible source of information. You know, the people of Crimea, from what I've heard, would rather be with Russia than where they were. I would have recommended that the Ukraine take all of its military assets it had available, put them on that eastern border, provide those assets with defensive weapons that are necessary just to defend themselves, mm -hmm. announce that the U.S. is going to provide them intelligence and that there will either NATO or U.S. will provide air surveillance over that border. This was locker room talk. My question is very simple. Is grabbing a woman by her genitals without consent, is that sexual assault? Yes. But Trump says his cabinet choices should just be themselves. We want them to be themselves. And I told them, be yourselves and say what you want to say. Don't worry about me. And I'm going to do the right thing, whatever it is. I may be right. And they may be right. But I said, be yourselves. Let's bring in the Hardball Roundtable tonight. Jason Johnson's politics editor for TheRoot.com. Jennifer Rubin's an opinion writer for The Washington Post. And Jeremy Peters is a reporter with The New York Times. So let's start, Jason. Because if you voted for Trump and you voted against trade and you voted for the wall, if you will, I guess you voted, uh, you know, I, I go through the whole list. I could do it all. Everything is being vitiated by the nominees, at least in, in these hearings. And, and what did Trump say during the campaign? I could shoot somebody walking through Times Square and these people will still follow me. I didn't vote for Donald Trump because I thought he was consistent. I voted for him because I thought he was going to shake up the system. Yeah. This is not going to affect his supporters at all. Okay. It is going to make the government completely incoherent. Which way, is, well, which way is he going is, I guess, another question. That's the question. There's two possibilities. One is he's not going to let these guys do anything. And so it doesn't matter what they say. He's going to talk to Reince Priebus or he's going to talk most likely to Stephen Bannon and decide what he wants to do. That's one possibility. Or Jared Kushner. Or Jared Kushner. Or whoever the last uh, person is to whisper in it, his ear. Exactly. Which, which could be anybody. Has been the case. But these are right. these are rock of Gibraltar commitments right. he made. I'm going to look, I don't think he's going to build the wall, but he's going to do something to stop illegal immigration in a dramatic, perhaps cruel way. But he's going to do it. And then he has a guy saying the wall won't work. Right. I, well, you have, uh, I think, over the course of the campaign, I talked to a lot of his supporters at these rallies and asked them, does it matter if he builds a wall? Does it matter if Mexico pays for it? Well, uh, not not necessarily as long as he improves their lives. That's what people voted for. They voted for change. They voted for a shakeup in Washington, as Jason was saying. And as long as they feel like Washington is functioning again, like their lives are just a little bit better, I think he gets a pass on it. Do you buy that? That's yeah. a great theory. If yeah, it's true. I would love. To, I would love that to be the truth. The truth. I actually think that he believes this stuff. A lot of his supporters did, and there is going to be this sense of mass disillusionment if he doesn't. Make okay, let me ask you a more dramatic question. If, because I think the election was very cultural and class. Yes. He starts hanging around with the celebrities like Hillary Clinton did, you know, Rob Reiner and Carol King, and he, he's the toast <laughs> of Martha's Vineyard, you know. Mm -hmm. I think they might not like that. They may not like it if it's the wrong kind of celebrities, right? Oh, if no, he, he's, Wayne Newton's okay. Well, exactly. Right. Yeah. Newton, Kid Rock, the you know, those kinds right. of people. Kid Rock. Yeah, those people are going to be fine. But here's the other thing. I don't even think it's, I don't even think that a lot of Trump supporters care if government works better. They want somebody to go there and kick some butt. Okay. They want somebody to go there and make Congress Okay, let's try this, bye. Okay, first of all, we're not going to get all the details, but I do think these are profound. Then I, I look about the, the Muslim ban. A lot of his wilder people on the edge, you know, the alt-right, like that. Yeah. Yes. And now he says, well, that's not going to do We're not going to outlaw Muslims, which is an absurd, un-American thing to do. But all of a sudden, why did uh, Mr. Uh, 
uh, Sessions feel he could, well, the guy from Alabama can't look like he's got a race problem, right? right. Well, that's the kind of clue to all of this. They can't say these crazy things and get confirmed. Right. That kind of proves so that Trump what couldn't have got confirmed for exactly. any cabinet post. That's exactly. Only the voters could unleash Yeah, he could get elected us. president. Yeah, but, <laughs> right, right. Right. Yeah. but he can't have any job. Well, okay, I want to go, I want to follow your theory, which is right. the wild theory, is all they feel like things getting better. And I do believe, if he can produce jobs from infrastructure, I'd be all for it. If he wants to, like they did in China, I talked about the other night, they took the guys who did the deep mining and coal, stopped mining coal, and used those deep miners to dig subways. Right. And that would be brilliant. It's thrilling that you could start to think like that, but that was a command society. You tell people to move from Milwaukee right. to Tallahassee, and they do it. You know. Right. Okay, Roosevelt went in the, pro in the in the White House in a very terrible time, much worse than this. The, the depths of the Great Depression. He promised, go back and look at it. I'm going to end the depression by cutting the right. number of government employees. I'm going to reduce the deficit. The deficit is the guy. He comes in, expands this city, Washington, expands the role of the federal government, and he got reelected three times. Right. Is that, is, right. So he's right. It doesn't matter it, what you it, do as long yes. as you do it. Exactly. As long as you do it and it works. And I think the other thing is he also came into, and this goes to the foreign policy guys, he also came in essentially promising not to get us into a war, and he had to bring the president, uh, the, the country with him. So the question is, does Trump know how to, or does he want to bring the country with him By the wherever way, let's he goes? Get, let's get to the tricky issue of the Middle East. Yes. He right. says, I don't want any more wars in the Middle East, but I'm moving the embassy. Right. <laughs> Right. Right. That is an act of, right. of, let me call it this, a slap in your face to King Abdullah, to the Saudis, to the Emirates. Right. Who, by the way, it, by the way I know there's a plus a upside to it, but there's a scary downside. Yeah. Well, look, in it, terms of war. It, you know, Netanyahu will like it. That will work well there's for the some constituencies. Upside. You know, the, in the terms issue of morale. is there's, there's, there's a governing part, and then there's the sort of retail politics part. His retail politics are going to be great. The contradictions between him and these cabinet positions yeah, will make right. government and almost And Jared Kushner yes. may be the strongest cabinet member. I, right. I agree with He's that. He's going to be there long after this administration. Right. He's going to be married to a Ivanka, his daughter, Absolutely. you don't, you don't fire that guy. Equals. You don't yeah. know the guy to fire his, second, his uh, son-in-law was Mussolini. <laughs> he had him executed. <laughs> he had the count executed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, this is aggressive. That's to know. We, we don't have that yet. <laughs> this is not exactly a, a team of rivals in the intellectual sense, right? right? I, I, I don't get... Trump is going to run his White House like he ran his campaign, which is impulsively from the gut. Okay, yes. uh, 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 Mad Dog versus uh, Flynn. Who's going to win? Mad I, Dog. He has higher rank, and that counts okay, with those the, guys. The defense Trump's defense state. First. Defense beats state, defeats the NSC. Yes. Anyway, the roundtable is sticking yes. with us. It's a lively Friday, even with this shadow of Russia and, and Comey all over us. Up next.